And it appeared to them as cloven tongues of fire. And it sat upon each of them. External, external. But here's the internal part. And they all begin to speak. Out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. And they begin to speak in unknown tongues as the, say it, the Spirit gave utterance from the depth. Wow, man. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So when someone says, it's the Holy Ghost important today, I say it's imperative. I say it's the single most important thing the church can allow itself to be endued with. But, but the Holy Ghost is more than just speaking in tongues. Tongues is only the evidence that it has moved from the outside to the inside. It's moved from us being breathed upon to us being breathed within. You seeing that? God wants to breathe in the earth, not just outside of it. And that will cause a reaction. With every action, there's a reaction. It's the law of physics. It's the law of God. And when he acts upon us, there'll be a reaction. But what is the reaction initially? Our reaction is we begin to shout. We begin to dance. We become excited. We praise. We lift our hands. But that's not all there is to the Holy Ghost. It's only a reaction because the Spirit's beginning to work. Now we got to do something with it. And Jesus said, here's what you do. Go into all the world. Preach the gospel to every creature. Baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Remitting sins. If they've done any wrong, forgive it. Make disciples out of them. Hallelujah. I, I, I don't know where to just go from there other than just ask if they'd come to the music tonight. This is the genuine Holy Spirit. And there's a lot of scripture. And as you read, I know you say, well, you preacher, you didn't mention this scripture. And you didn't mention that. All I did was just lay a foundation. And now you read those scriptures and you begin to say, this is the breath of God between being on me or being in me. When we're in a church service, and, and I believe, I, I know, I'm not, I'm preaching among friends tonight. <laughs> I'm preaching to the choir, so to speak. But I believe we've all can attest that there were times and seasons that we've been in service that we were moved on. We felt God move on us to such a degree that, man, we, we, we were so excited. Our flesh began to respond and react. We hooped, we hollered, we ran, we shouted. I do it all the time every Sunday. I do it. I think my wife has the Holy Spirit every day. She's usually hollering at me a lot. <laughs> but I'm usually doing something wrong. I'm kidding, honey. I'm sorry. I'm usually doing something wrong, causing a reaction. <laughs> but we felt that. But I believe all of us can attest that there was a moment, too, that we really felt something not just on us when we experienced something in us. I'm praying that we get back to a hunger to say, God, I just don't want to feel something on me. I want to feel it in me. As they give us this song tonight, I, I just want to open this altar. Let's come and pray, could we? God, let us come back to a place of saying, Lord, I want that Ruach HaKodesh, that Holy Ghost, to move in me. The breath of God, the life source, the life giver, to breathe within me. Let's pray. Hallelujah, let's pray. Glory to God.
the sweetest of loves when my heart becomes free and my shame is undead in your presence and Holy Spirit you are welcome here come flood this place and feel the atmosphere your glory God is what our hearts long to be overcome by your presence, your presence. Jesus, I love that song. Holy Spirit, you are welcome here. See, he's a gentleman. And the Spirit of God is intentional. It's moved with intention. God is intentional with what he does. He always has been, always will be. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank God. Anybody have any words tonight they want to share? Anyone to say something tonight? Brother Jim. Praise God. Come on up, Mark. Yeah. Praise God. Praise God. Praise Thank the Lord, Brother Jim. Hallelujah. That's wonderful. How wonderful is that? Hallelujah. Anyone else tonight? Any other words? Thank the Lord Jesus. Amen. If not, let's stand, be dismissed. Thank you for coming out tonight, and I appreciate it very much, um, but uh, the Lord more so. <laughs> Amen. And uh, we appreciate you. We thank God for you. We love you, and uh, thank God for all that you're doing. And, and you know, keep stay encouraged. Stay encouraged. I know uh, we're kind of in a, a different season today in the times that we're in, and we have good crowds on Sunday morning. Our Sunday nights is not as much, uh, but uh, you know what? It's a good service, and I thank God for it. We appreciate being here and you being here, and the whole ideal is just being fed, to let ourselves be fed and, and partakers of, of Christ's heavenly calling. Is that right? And uh, you just keep praying and uh, letting God move in you. Uh, then we'll begin to see increase. Uh, you know, it's easy for us to point over here and say, boy, they need to be doing that. Uh, but, you know, it starts here. We can't do anything about that. Jesus told Peter that. Peter's like, well, what's John going to do? Let's get John. Why ain't you talking to John?